the MRI of 2020 shows it. Not just changes that someone like a neurologist can see, but much, much more. It's a complete stop to all symptoms. And I think that's what most MS patients want. Hey, it's Dave. In this video, not only am I going to explain to you how to stop MS and its symptoms, but I'm also going to show you the trigger that will prevent MS from ever coming back. Make sure to watch this whole video. I'm going to quickly cover the four essential elements of recovery and tell you why they are so essential. While the first two are specific to myelin creation, the third and fourth target and suppress inflammation, which is the enemy of every autoimmune disease. So let's begin. The first component is weightlifting. Building strength, doing weight exercises, transmits electrical signals they travel up and down the nerves and into the central nervous system of the brain. Think of it as striking a match to start the fire of new myelin creation. The second component is sleep. If weightlifting is the fire, sleep is the fuel. Specifically, myelin generation happens during REM sleep. During REM sleep, the brain makes myelin to protect the complex neural systems generated by the electrical signals produced by weightlifting. As I said, inflammation needs to be suppressed. So the third component is exposing the skin on a regular basis to UVB light. That activates the central hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, which causes immunosuppression independent of vitamin D. Finally, the fourth component is eating only one meal a day. Every time food is eaten, the body releases inflammation to digest it. There is no special diet or no special superfood that can avoid inflammation. But eating just one meal a day will limit it to just a few hours. I will forever believe these four components of recovery changed my life. And I feel it every single moment of every single day. I didn't see it at first, but there's a fifth. It's the trigger that generates new myelin. I started doing it in 2018 without even realizing I was starting it. Would you believe me if I say it starts in the thyroid gland? <sighs> I know. The thyroid is responsible for remyelination of the brain. The closest person genetically to me is my sister Susan. While I get my genes from mom and dad, I share those genes with Susan. She has Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disease that creates antibodies that damage the thyroid. And just like MS, doctors don't know why that happens. But I found an article connecting her thyroid with my MS. It's called an interesting connection between thyroid hormone and myelin in multiple sclerosis. I don't know the solution for Susan, but for MS, it's simply to make new myelin. 
brain cells, known as oligodendrocyte progenitor cells, which are simply known as OPCs, must differentiate into mature oligodendrocytes. To promote that, thyroid hormone is needed. Problem is, levels of thyroid hormone would have to be too high and result in serious side effects. But the solution is simple. <sighs> it's so simple, it seems stupid. Drinking uh, just a little at a time, over a long period, I mean, I'm talking over a few years, increases the thyroid hormone slowly and safely. And that changes everything when combined with the four components of recovery. When I wake up every morning, I drink a glass of water with four drops of iodine in it. I first started drinking iodine because it would help me sleep at night because it would raise my energy levels in the morning and trail off by the end of the day. I loved it so much, I eventually progressed to taking eight drops, <laughs> but that was way too much iodine. At one point, thinking I was coming down with a sore throat, I went to my doctor. They did an ultrasound and found my thyroid was enlarged. I knew what it was. So I quickly went back to four drops. And a month later, my thyroid returned to normal. <sighs> now look at the two MRI images. First, 2017. Then, 2020. Since all my symptoms are gone, I can only speculate that is remyelination in happening. One before iodine, one after. Iodine is the myelin trigger. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video until the next one.